6'9 point guards are officially back in NBA 2K24. This build can move just as fast as any small point guard build on this game. It can break ankles, it can green those fading mid-range shots, and this build can knock down those cheesy post fades very consistently. And you already know, just because it's 6'9 doesn't mean it can't shoot. I can green three-point shots all day, every day. But most importantly, this build can play defense and lock up. If we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll show you all my dribble moves and my jump shot on this build. So don't miss out. Drop a like right now and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. You can go left-handed, right-handed. It doesn't matter. Go ahead and click continue. Okay, now guys, you're going to want to go shooting guard. You cannot technically make a point guard that is six foot nine. The tallest you can go at point guard is six foot eight. So we want to be six foot nine and we're going to go shooting guard. All right, so for the weight, you're going to want to go 188 pounds. And for the wingspan, you want to go 7'6". This is going to be one underneath max wingspan. And you guys are going to see why later on in the video, why I went with 7'6 wingspan. So let's go ahead and continue and show you guys how to make this. First, let's break down the physicals. You're going to want to put speed all the way up to 80, okay? Exactly 80. The acceleration, go ahead and max that out at 73. Go ahead and put your strength all the way up to 73. You get that immovable forcer on the right. I know you guys see that, okay? Immovable forcer is crazy, okay? So we're gonna go 73 strength. For vertical, we're gonna put that all the way up to 82, okay? So once you get up to 82, that's where you're gonna wanna stop it. And your stamina, put that all the way up to 97. So make sure you guys copy these stats exact for the Demigod build. So for the close shot, you're gonna wanna put that all the way up to 63, okay? Leave it at 63. The driving layup, put that all the way up to 83. And at 83 driving layup, we actually get some really good layup animations. We actually get the Michael Jordan one as well. So go with the 83 driving layup. Now for the driving dunk, put that all the way up to 94. Now, the reason we're going with 94 driving dunk is because we get some of the contact dunks. And you guys are gonna see in some gameplay today that contact dunks are very OP in NBA 2K24, so it's very worth going with a 94 driving dunk. Your standing dunk, you're gonna wanna leave that at a 49. And your post control, this is the cheese. This is why this build is cheese. Put this all the way up to 92. Now, if you take a look on that right side, as you guys can see, we get gold unpluckable. It's impossible to get gold and pluckable with your ball handle or speed with ball on this build so you got to max out your post control at 92 and you get gold unpluckable so take a look at some of the finishing badges that we get on this build we get gold posterizer ladies and gentlemen that is insane gold posterizer on a six foot nine we also get hall of fame slithery finisher we get gold precision dunker gold aerial wizard hall of fame bunny which is very overpowered and very underrated not many people know about this badge but it's really good we got hall of fame spin cycle as well and two-step on hall of fame whistle on silver if you do care we even get giant slayer on gold float game on gold scooper on gold pro touch on hall of fame which is actually insane acrobat on silver we also get fearless finisher on silver as well and if you want to get glitchy like a post score you also get gold drop stepper and look at this you get hall of fame post spin technician on a six foot nine shooting guard build that is actually insane but the finishing on this six foot nine shooting guard build is actually insane like i said man you get a 94 driving dunk and that unlocks contact dunks and like I was saying about Hall of Fame Bunny, it's actually insane. It creates a lot of space in the paint. You get a lot of layup animations out of it. You get a lot of dunk animations. And the green window is huge when you use Hall of Fame Bunny. But overall, with the 94 driving dunk, these dunk animations are so explosive. I literally take off like it's NBA 2K23. It's so much fun on this build. I know a lot of the times on my other builds, I get sucked out of animations when I go up for a dunk. But with this six foot nine build with 94 driving dunk, it's literally impossible to stop me while I'm midair. Also, speaking about contact dunks you don't even have to do the skill dunks you can literally hold square and you will get insane contact dunks on this build but overall this build is insane when it comes to finishing it cannot be stopped so go with those exact stats and you will be a demigod when it comes to finishing moving on to shooting you're going to want to put your mid-range shot all the way up to an 84 now the reason i go with an 84 mid-range shot is so i get midi magician on gold and i get dead eye on silver so keep that in mind now my three-point shot obviously you're going to want to max that out at a 78 you're, you're gonna want to shoot the best you possibly can now take a look at the badges that i get even being six foot nine okay with a 78 three ball and 84 mid-range shot i get silver blinders catch and shoot on gold silver dead eye which is actually very op you're gonna see in these clips as well i get silver green machine silver space creator silver spot finder guard up on gold midi magician like i said on gold very op on this build 
and you get open looks on silver as well you know these badges are just actually insane you get post fade phenom if you want to get in the post a little bit shoot some fades as well it's actually very op and i also get bronze agent three which is very useful now with a 78 three-pointer i can say i shoot very consistent as long as i'm wide open and i know my jump shot i know i can hit those threes every single time and since i do have silver green machine once i get going i can green even more consistent the cheesiest thing about this build is the left right from the mid-range area and the fading from the mid-range it's actually op now like i said i have an 84 mid-range shot in this build with the magic johnson dribble style i'm gonna show you guys how to get it but with the Magic Johnson dribble style, you can literally left right from the mid range area and fade. I have an 84 mid range. I'm going to green that almost every single time. It's actually so cheesy. And not to mention, I also have gold midi magician. So once I get going with silver green machine, I got gold midi magician. I'm going to be cheesy from the mid range area and I'm basically not going to be able to get stopped. It's actually very OP from the mid range area. And I also forgot to mention, I'm taller than most guards on this game. So I'm going to be able to shoot over small defenders while having silver dead eye you got to keep that in mind as well think about that i'm gonna have gold midi magician i'm gonna have silver dead eye and i'm gonna have silver green machine over those any day all day coach all right so for the pass accuracy i'm gonna go ahead and put that all the way up to 70. now in my opinion you know if you want to make this a ones build you could just not even put this up okay um you could actually just put it down all the way down to nothing if, you, if it's a ones build if you want to play twos with this build threes on this build you could actually drop it down to 68 and you can still get some decent pass animations but i don't know i just went with 70. i just went with 70. i don't know why but that's what i did of course, you're going to want to max the ball handle all the way out to 80 and the speed with ball. Go ahead and max that out all the way to 75. Now, with the ball handle being 80 and speed with ball being 75, I still get ankle breaker on silver. We get blow by on bronze handles for days on silver, which is very good. And we also get physical handles on gold. That is a crazy badge and very important. So make sure you get physical handles on gold, you know, and we even get bronze speed booster, you know. I will be honest, I don't even think you need Speed Booster at all this year as long as you have the Magic Johnson dribble style because it's very cheesy, okay? So that's one hint. I can't show y'all all my six today, but I will say the dribble style is Magic Johnson. You get killer combos on bronze. You get triple strike on silver as well. You also get hyperdrive on silver, which is a very underrated badge. It's very good. So make sure you get hyperdrive on silver. Now, like I was saying about the playmaking, man, all you need is the Magic Johnson dribble style. Don't get it twisted, man. You know what I mean? If you want all the other six, like I said, 2,000 likes on this video and I got y'all. A lot of these other six will help you speed boost, help you get open on this taller guard build but like i was saying man i only have bronze speed booster um i still think it's needed you know to a certain extent to move but as you guys can see in these clips i am absolutely moving i'm beating the defender every single time i'm breaking ankles i'm going absolutely insane and you gotta remember this build is six foot nine and i'm moving this fast still getting ankle breakers and going nuts and one secret a lot of people don't know about nba 2k24 without takeover normally i just spam the magic johnson dribble style but once you have playmaking takeover i can speed boost like a normal small guard like I'm able to do the regular hesitation speed boost on a six foot nine with playmaking takeover. That's nuts. And I can even momentum crossover too once I have play take as well. But overall, this build is insane to be moving like this at the height of six foot nine. The main reason why people didn't go with taller guard builds this year is because they thought they were going to move like turtles. And that's not the case. I'm telling you, I might have broke the game with this build. I'm not lying. But moving on to defense. Let's talk about defense, man. This build is an animal on defense and it locks up. So let me show you guys how I upgraded it all right so for your interior you're gonna want to put that all the way up to 74 now the reason i go with 74 is so i get post lockdown okay on bronze now moving on to perimeter defense we're gonna put that all the way up to 87 okay we're gonna put that on 87 so we get gold challenger and for the steel we're gonna put that all the way up to 85 and the reason we go with 85 is so we get that silver glove but i mean look at these badges we get as a six foot nine defender we get ankle braces on silver we get challenger on gold clamps on silver fast feet on silver pig dodger on silver workhorse on gold and all fall pest on gold 
We even get Interceptor on Silver, Glove on Silver, and Right Stick Ripper on Silver. This build on defense is actually insane. To be six foot nine and to be moving on the perimeter is nuts. It locks up so many small guards or tall guards as well. You get so many bump animations on this build on the perimeter. And the main reason I get those is because of movable Forcer. I get that on Bronze, and that badge is nuts. It's actually nuts. Now, I wouldn't call this build the post scorer stopper, but listen, I can hold my own in the paint. Post scores can still score on me for sure, but I have way more of a chance to get a stop than a smaller guard build like a six foot six. Now, not every build is perfect in NBA 2K24. Every build has to make a sacrifice in mine. In this build, I'm going with the 34 block. I can't get chased down blocks, and that's fine because my interior is up to a 74. And honestly, I get a lot of blocks just by holding my right stick up. But overall, this build is insane. I think I broke the builder with this six foot nine shooting guard build. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe for new build videos. I'm gonna catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.